What's going on everybody? My name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of Linux operating system tutorials and in this tutorial we will be looking at the sudo command in detail and uh, why is this command pretty necessary and what's the requirement for it. Sudo command stands for super user do. Essentially this command helps normal users to execute super user uh, super user actions or uh, super user uh, level give, give super user level privileges to a normal user on a temporary basis. All right? I'll tell you why. Let's say I'm a uh, let's say I'm a now I'm a normal user as of now. Let's say I go to the main directory, the slash directory, and then I decide that and and for some accidental mistake, I delete this entire bin folder. I know who would be crazy to do that, but let's say uh, in um, in a hurry, I somehow I want to delete some other folder and accidentally delete uh, type this command bin remove bin. Okay, with the with the flags R and F, so that I d delete each and every little content inside that folder di directory and and forcibly and press enter. By default, the security settings in uh, Linux prevents me to delete it, and as a consequence, I s I get this information permission denied. Okay, so if I were to clear this terminal up and then type ls, that bin folder is still there. Thereby, this folder is not deleted. Now, fortunate for me, I know that I don't have permissions over here. So even if I type that command, I this this does not work. Okay, so it's good for me. Imagine I had the permission. Okay, if I had, this folder would have been gone, and my computer would have been uh, thrashed up. But, uh, it would have been gone forever, and I would have had to reinstall my Ubuntu Ubuntu right from scratch to get this up and running again, and I have to install all the other softwares on top of it to get it up and running. All right. So that's the th that's the thing. Let's say you want to install a certain software or make some application, make some changes or changes. Let's say those permissions which involve anything related to the operating system or the core part of the operating system, they are not given to normal users because of security. So that um, the normal users do not, by chance, do something that will affect all the other users or delete some uh, in mess up some important configuration settings or aspects of the system. All right. It's more of a security privilege, okay? So these privileges or permissions are allocated specifically and exclusively to the root user. So whenever a root user is logged in, it is understood that the root user has all the permissions and like all the permissions are given to the root user because it is understood that he or she, the root user as in when they logged in, they will behave responsibly and they will be super vigilant about each and every little corrections they do, all right? So, uh, people did not want to take the risk for a normal user, all right. So they put uh, they re restricted the other permissions substantially, so that normal user will not go and do something stupid like, like what we did, what we I did, I just showed you just now, all right. Now, let's say um, some let's say I want to install a software. Now I cannot install software from a normal user, but only the root user can install the software for me in this regard. But Let's say, can I have a trade-off in that regard? And that's where the sudo command comes into picture. Normal users are given the super user privileges for a small for a small period of time so that uh, they can uh, do admin super user, privilege, super user privilege stuff and then come, back, come out of it. That's what sudo helps you for. Okay, let's say I want to install, uh, install a Fortran library. The command I actually have to use is apt install uh, gfortran. This is how we have to do this in Linux, I mean uh, Ubuntu, okay? This is good enough. But if I do that, first permission, first information I get is permission denied. And they're asking me, are, uh, am I the root user? No, I'm not the root user, but I need to install the software. So only way I can do is that by switching off the system and logging in as the root user and proceeding, proceeding that. Now this may be totally annoying. This can be totally annoying sometimes because every time you want to do some stuff that are restricted, let's say, you as a normal user do not have the privileges, but only the root user has two privileges. So you have to bring in that person, the system administrator, get everything for you. So the one uh, small trade off is the, the sudo command. When you put sudo in the front, all right, it'll ask you for the super user password. And once you enter that, okay, you get the super user privileges temporarily. All right, and afterwards 
you can do whatever you want with that privileges and be careful and it's and uh, be careful so normal user accounts are not given the super user privileges by default all right and uh, if you want your account to have super user privileges you need to add it to the sudoers group okay with these things i'll talk about in the next video okay these are some things that are a little, little more messier i'll talk about this next video so if your account is added to the super users uh, super users or super sudoers then you have all the sudo you can use the sudo command to do just the same amount of work like that of um, super user all right just to give you a sample okay let me go to the c slash uh, folder as a normal user, if I type mkdir and type say sample one, I cannot do it. But on the other hand, if I were to um, if I were to go to the front uh, and type sudo and okay, now if I type ls, now you see the sample one has been created. Now if I type uh, rmdir and then sample one and press enter, it I cannot remove it. But if I type sudo in the front and, pre and uh, presenter, now I can remove it. So this sudo command is actually gives you a little bit of a check. Okay, do you see the privilege to do a super user permission at the same time? Just make sure that you know what you're doing. All right. Now, if I type sudo rm minus rf, rf, and I type bin, let's say, and I press enter, with super user permission, I should be I mean, I will be able to. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying I should. I will. I would. I can delete this bin folder totally. I can delete that, but I'm not going to do that. Why? Because that will be stupid. If I do that, this computer, this operating system is. I mean, this Linux system is trashed. Okay, I'm not going to do that. So be careful. So that's the thing. That's the thing you have to keep in mind. Sudo command helps you to give you temporary privileges. Temporary super user privileges so that you can do uh, the stuff that only the now uh, super user is eligible to do. All right, so that's all I have for you all in this video. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I'll tell you uh, the methods to create another account, super uh, user account, and then add it to the pseudo users, and how you can log into with that user, and then play, and then. Um, Remove the pseudo, 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 remove the account from the pseudo OS and add the account back to the pseudo OS and all. Alright? So thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.